All right, gonna make a <clears throat> short video. I'm out here tonight. We're gonna change oil in the Camaro. There it is. Um, I've changed it twice since we went, uh, or since we've been testing, and we went to uh, the drag strip one time. I'm not gonna tell the time it run. We are dialing stuff in, getting it uh, doing you know what it's supposed to but it done good uh, got no complaints with it and uh, but I want to look at the oil and I took the shapers out and I know some will balk at this or say no what are you doing but I put uh, Delo 1540 in it and <clears throat> I don't know I've run it around probably a mile and uh, I've heated it up tonight. The oil's hot. I'm gonna let it out, and then we'll look at the oil and see what's what's going on with it. We, I feel like it's had more uh, dust in the oil than it should. It's never completely cleared up. I don't understand why. So, my way of thinking, I'm gonna change the oil four or five times in a short period. Um, that's the reason I went to the Dello. I like Dello oil or Rotella. Some some use Rotella, but uh, I've had better results out of the Dello oil, the 1540, just diesel oil. So we're not going to run it hard with that in it, but uh, we're going to change it four or five times, see what happens. In fact, let me show what I'm actually putting in it. Uh, It'll be that right there. Um, you know, some people simply won't run that. They want to run like Vaveline, VR, such and such. Or, And I like Schaefer's. Uh, we're going to run Schaefer's in it. Probably a straight 30 weight. Uh, we may go to uh, a 1030, 1040 uh, 2050 I don't know we're just gonna have to play with it um, it has really good oil pressure it's 40 or above on idle it goes up to 70 to 80 pounds you know when you bring in the boost in and, and, and on a pass so we'll see but anyway let me uh, let me get the oil out um, I got the camera on the selfie mode but See, my, my pan's clean. I'm going to get it out, uh, get it drained out, and we'll look at that. And here's the filter from the last time. Um, I don't know if you probably can't see. I'm going to get it really close. But there's no, like, particles, no bearing material. I've looked that over, like, really good. Um, I put a long filter on it this time. Uh, it's a PF 61, 64, I can't remember. We'll look, well, let's see. Let me look over here. Because they are really cheap at Walmart. And, uh, let's see. Right there, yeah. PF 61E. But anyway, that is the long version of the LS filter. So anyway, let me get the oil uh, drained out. We will, I will come back in just a few minutes and we'll look at it and uh, then we'll go from there. Catch you in a few. I figure out how to pop. All right, we got the oil drained out. <clears throat> I'm gonna walk over here. I always like to do this. Oh, excuse my messy shop. This is my shop at home. But uh, I always like to take the oil and this is the filter and I like to look at the oil and I'm going to try to do this the best I can on the camera. Whoop. I didn't do too good at that, did I? But see, the oil looks really clean coming out the filter. Because if there's any shavings, a lot of dust, or anything like that, it's going to be in the filter with no doubt. So that looked pretty good. My can's getting full. I'm going to have to empty that. Uh, I'm going to stop this for just a second. And I'm going to pull the oil pan out where we can kind of give it a swirl. 
and see what it looks like. All right, we're back. Oh, the oil looks pretty good. It's going to be hard to see. I'm going to kind of swipe through. I don't think the camera's picking it up. There is just a, a small amount of dust in the oil. So it is cleaning up, I'm pretty sure. So that makes me feel really good. Um, I've had a time with this motor. It, it was all my fault. I ruined one set of bearings. You know, it cost those that don't uh, put really good bearings. It cost me almost right at, it was either five or six hundred dollars time we paid shipping and all to put new bearings in this motor. I messed the original setup. It was all my fault. I left the dumbbell out, they call it, of the back of the block. I uh, cranked it up. It didn't have oil pressure. Time I figured out what was going on. I put the, I pulled the transmission, the rear cover, put the dumbbell in it, and we fired it up, and it was too late. So that was my fault. And I got the heebie jeebies now, you know. <laughs> Uh, the car is running great. Uh, it's not missing a beat. It's making boost. Uh, we're running drag radials right at the moment. We will be going to slicks. Probably going to go DO6 on Hoosiers to start with. Um, we may go Phoenix. I'm not quite sure. But uh, so anyway, back to the oil. That makes me feel really good. It seems like it's cleaning up. You know, this motor probably has 15 miles, uh, two passes at the drag strip, and probably 20 full minutes of runtime. Uh, and we've done a few things to break it in. You know, we pulled it up on the high RPM and let it just sit and, you know, run through all of that. So, anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, I'm going to put Dello. You can see that back in it. Uh, we're probably going to run it just a little bit. And then let me walk over here to my jump shelf. I got a little bit of everything right here. But that right there is what we're going to put back in it. Uh, we, Like I say, we may go to... Um, a 1040 or a 1540 i have to look I've, I've heard of a 1540 i think that shapers make if that if they have that that is probably what we're going to go to instead of the straight 30 weight so with all of that being said listen i'm going to try to start making more videos i'm going to do a lot more in the shop we have an extremely a lot going on right now it's just me remembering to record and do, and I, I kind of want to do like the, our shop life videos. Just keep them more shop oriented, you know, what we do, what it takes to make everything happen. Uh, give everybody a, a insight into that. And then, of course, the Camaro is kind of separate, you know. It's kind of like our hobby, what we do on the side. But in saying that, in the same time, it entails everything we do, with the exception of the hot rod motor. You know, because I've done all the body work on this car. Um, we got to block it down and reprime it. I want to paint the whole car this purple. Ethan wants it, and Tommy kind of agrees, Ethan wants to paint it black. I don't want to paint it black simply because of all the maintenance that it takes to keep black up. Because when we paint this car, it will not be a mediocre paint job. It will be a high-end, very high-sheen, very straight car. So anyway, uh, here's a little bit of the inside. Um, you know, I can make a video and go through. I got a button for the horn right there. 
But uh, there's a the time slip. I ain't going to show you that right now. But anyway, my dogs is going crazy. I will catch you guys on the next one. See you.